Hi, it's Dee, and here with your Better Body Workout. Now last week, we did the pear workout. This week, we're gonna be working on the potato shape. But before we get started, let's go into our Better Body Image app, and we're gonna check out our calorie crunch. I have to enter my calories before my workout. So today, I've had 600 calories so far. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna indicate that I consumed them, and now I have a running deficit of 1,590 calories. I can eat 1,590 calories the rest of the day. Woo, all right. So, now we're gonna go to our workout. Today, as I said, we're gonna be doing the potato workout, but it doesn't matter. If you're a pear, if you're an apple, or if you're a banana, you can still do this workout with me. But I love the potato workout. Now, the potato body shape is the body shape that kind of gains and loses all over. You tend to have a little bit more muscle mass, so you're a little stronger and you can work a little harder. The potato workout is a great interval workout. So you can do this along with me at home. So what you want to do is you want to, first of all, make sure you have plenty of room, that you're not bumping into anything. And here we go. We're going to start with a warm-up. So you can walk in place, jump in place, jog in place, reach up, and we're going to do this for seven minutes. The potato workout is called the 7-Up. So we're going to be doing, not drinking 7-Up, but we're going to be doing the 7-Up workout. So what you do is you get your heart rate up in 7 minutes, and then we're going to do one exercise for each muscle group. So let's march in place again. You can do this at home with me. Put your favorite music on, dance, jog, jump side to side, whatever you want to do to get your heart rate up. But once it's up, look at the clock, seven minutes, and now we're going to go to our first exercise. The first exercise we're going to do is the larger muscle groups. We're going to start with our chest press. Now, if you've been following with me along this BBI journey, you've seen the chest press before. But we'll, just for review, we're going to come straight up over our chest, right over the sternum, all the way back down. So you want to be on a flat surface. You want to have your knees bent. That gives your back a little bit more support. And you're going to come all the way up and down. Now, for the potato shape, we want to use light to moderate weight. And we're going to fatigue the muscles with repetition. So we're going to do 20 reps. So we're going to come up. We're at 10 right now. 11, 12, 13, all the way up. 14, full range of motion, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great job, you guys. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to do that two more sets of 20. So rest for about 30 to 45 seconds, and then complete your second and your third reps, or your sets, excuse me. Okay, so then we're gonna come back up. You're gonna get your heart rate up again for seven minutes. Put your favorite music on, jazz it up, work it out. Get that heart rate up. Get yourself a jump rope, hula hoop, whatever you have lying around. So now we're gonna come back and we're gonna work another muscle group. We're gonna go to our back muscle now. Now I've shown you this exercise before. This one you're gonna be sitting in a chair or you can, um, you can actually be on the floor for this one if you want to, but we're gonna use this, we're gonna use my lovely massage table for this one. So we're gonna lean over, come all the way over, and we're gonna come straight up. One, two, so I'm gonna do 10 this way, and then I'm gonna show you another way to do it. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, elbows out, two, and one. Okay, great job. So I'm gonna show you another variation of that exercise. So we would do 20 of those, and then you can do the next um, set. For the next set, you can just lean forward, one knee down, and come straight up. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, and now we're gonna switch and come up. One, two, three, four, five, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent job, guys. All right, time to get that heart rate up again. This is a wonderful workout because it gives you a lot of variety, you don't get bored with it, and it really burns a lot of calories. So make sure you get your heart rate up again for seven minutes, and then we're gonna come back down onto the floor, or your mat, and we're gonna go right to another big muscle group, chest, and we're gonna come out to the side. Our flies, one, two, three, four, Arms are all the way up. Make sure that you bring those weights up over the sternum. Seven, eight, nine, that's 10. We got 10 more folks, come on. 10, nine, are you doing these at home with me or are you just standing there looking at this? So get down on the floor and get your weights. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, guess what time it is. Got to get that heart rate back up again. So stand up, go through your seven minutes of movement again. Now, if you're just watching this video, you're not losing any weight or burning any calories, just standing there watching it. So you want to participate. All right, time to work our laps. That's seven minutes. My time flies when you're making a video. Okay, so we're gonna come all the way up now and do our lap pulls. So we're gonna, you can lean on a chair or you can lean on the floor. We're gonna do it right here. And I'm gonna bring my elbow up to my side. One, two, you wanna squeeze all the way back. Three, four, this is for the latissimus dorsi. Five, avius, it's also known as bra bulge. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, don't wanna be lopsided. So let's come on over to the other side. So let's come up one. Two, now remember you can use anything you want to as long as there's weight to it. So hopefully you have some free weights laying around. If not, find something, a can, or something lying around your house that weighs one to five pounds. These are eight pound dumbbell weights. That's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Of course, if you're a beginner, you can actually do this without any weight at all. Just come up and use your own body resistance. That's 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, awesome job. Okay, time to get that heart rate back up again. So start moving around, dancing around, side to side. I like this side to side move. So dance around, side to side. You can even use your arms to accelerate your um, heart rate. So what you can do is come up, 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 and it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Seven minutes of cardio again. So now it's time to work our shoulders. Straight arm raises. So we're gonna come up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, eleven. Bring it up, shoulder level, twelve. Keep your knees slightly bent, fourteen, fifteen. Hold your core muscles in tight, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now you repeat this one more time. So on all the other exercises, the chest and the lats 
and the two back exercises, the two backs and the chest and the flies, you'll do three sets of 20. Okay, time to get that heart rate back up. Let's march in place. Let's do some jumping jacks this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, good job. Okay, time to work our biceps now. So you've gotten your heart rate up seven minutes again. And now we're going to do a new bicep exercise called out and up. So we're going to come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, you guys. You are really burning the calories today. Seven up, love this program. Time to get your heart rate up for the last time. So let's march in place again. You can do your jumping jacks. Put your music on, go dance, jump rope, skip rope, whatever you wanna do. Heart rate gets up, side to side, and we're ready for our triceps. Last exercise. So tricep exercises, we love to work the back of our arms. Okay, we don't want anything swinging there, right? So we're gonna come back one, two, three. Squeeze back, four. And again, if you don't have a weight, five. Use your own body resistance, six, seven. Squeeze back, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're on 14, 15, 16. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, folks, other side. Thank goodness we only have two arms. What if we had an octopus? We have eight, we have to do this eight times. Okay, all the way out, one, two, three, four. That's why octopuses have all those like skinny appendages. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're there, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent job, you guys. Okay, that's the seven up. So just to recap, we're gonna do seven minutes of cardiovascular exercise and one major muscle group. It's, it's um, better to start with your larger muscle groups first, but it really doesn't matter. You can do them in any order, but I prefer that you do the larger chest, back, shoulders first, and then go out to your extremities. So you're gonna do seven minutes of cardio, then one strength exercise for one major muscle group. I'm telling you, this workout will really burn the calories. So until next week, keep working on that better body, and I'll see you next week.